test. <clears throat> I think we're good. <laughs> Alright guys, what's going on? Bashmap here, and this is day three of uh, Project Restoration. Uh, as you can see, I voted twice already. Um, as of February 3rd, I think voting got disabled on Rune Locus, which is like the most look that top 100 site on uh, for private servers so I still yet to know why but I'm kind of curious I might just like mail the uh, <clears throat> like the I don't know what do they call like the support forms or something just out of curiosity to see why because I know people like um, they VPN votes but I don't think they really do register for the thing and even so while the server was active people would do that like crazy and the server was like probably what I think it was like 18, 21st in line. I think it's mainly because like since Modi's making videos on it, everybody is starting to play it, and everybody is just voting for some starter cash, and people just don't know how to cope with that. And I guess I don't know. Rune Locust might be biased and just want want to keep Soul Split or something on their list. But yeah, guys, we did get a kill eventually, so not bad loot. But we do get a uh, some better loot. Uh, a little later on but you know it just makes me happy when I can get a kill and people don't teleport I mean don't get me wrong I'll teleport too if I run out but like oh it gets so so annoying after every time that someone teleports it's just terrible I hate it so much I'm not even kidding I mean I teleport sometimes but you know if I can't get a kill on a number of kills I'll just DM it like come on and I'm with the like the broken bank you know just learn a DM every now and then it's not bad and it kind of you know just makes you feel better about things so as you can see here uh, well as you're about to see here that happens so that's quite unfortunate uh, yeah I didn't really think that one through <laughs> it's probably one of the few occasions where I just die without even eating but yeah I got an, a guy that tabs so I kinda skipped the fight there cuz there's no point now this one I was gonna delete it, but I said I don't want to delete anything. I want you guys to see everything. I don't know what the heck happened. If I had to guess, it's because the guy was comp caping and everything. But uh, yeah, in that one I tab out. Uh, prime example right there. But then that guy tabs out, so I'm running dry right now. This is like kill number three or something. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. But uh, eventually I, I kind of out of curiosity, I just hit how many PK points I have, and I say, you know what? It's time for our first D defender. So let us buy it. I was about to lull if I got like a Morgan's Throne Axe or something. That would have been terrible. I think in it, with the Throne Axes you get like, you could throw them as many times as you want and they won't go away. But I really don't want to experiment right now with that because I don't have enough PKP. And I really don't want to know because who the heck ranges on this server? Like no one does. Unless you're doing Arma or just trolling in the wildy. So that's just my opinion though. Could could be any any like plausible reason. Alright, so in this fight, I think that I, I don't even know why I rushed him. I, I usually just uh, wait till someone rushes me, but I guess this guy might have just hit me first already or something. But yeah, as you can see, we're doing some pretty smooth switching. And, oh, failed DS. Oh, yeah. Oh. Tough yawn. I don't even know why I'm yawning. So I'm just kind of waiting for this guy to just, uh, you know, do his thing, but... Uh, Come on. Oh, and he freezes me. Oh, no. Oh, I almost died there. I should have died. I don't know what happens in this clip, to be honest with you, because I don't die, so I don't know what happens. What the, what the heck was that? Oh, that was a barrage. I thought I hit, like, blitz or something. So then I go for the whip, and then the barrage, and then that's that. Look at that loot. Look at that mage's book. Oh, man. I needed one of those. I got a whip too, so you know now I can like risk the mage's book, the staff of light. But yeah, I just speed up the looting process because you know it's it is what it is. You don't really have to see. You can see it, but I, I you don't have to really see it in real time because it's just kind of boring. So here I just run through my bank and just store everything, take everything out, and set everything up. Take out some scrolls, set it, and then there you go. That's what we do for every time. So I'll, let me uh, reset or set up some more clips so you guys can see. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. Uh, so basically, I got every single clip of day three set up 
in the timeline perfectly arranged uh, for viewing and all that good stuff. So hopefully we can go uninterrupted this time. <laughs> no phones ringing or anything like the other day. Oh, that was good. But yeah, here's a quick clip. Um, not that quick. Psh, come on, I'm not that lucky. But yeah, I was trying to do like prayer switches and everything. I even did like the switch to wolf scroll. Oh, I didn't turn well up there. Oh well, something you tend to forget sometimes. But yeah, that guy got lucky and me not so much on that part. So I do that, whip him. Man, I wish I was a higher hit. I even popped on my rune on his mage and everything. <clears throat> Currently, I think the server is being DDoS, so I don't know if I'll be able to film any episodes. But honestly, I have clips for, like, up to day... I mean, I think I'm, like, in present time, I'm in day 9 of recovery. So, I have a bunch of clips that I could work on. So, I'm okay by all means. I'm just going to miss being able to bridge just for lulz. Uh, as for an update on getting my stuff back from my hacker, our time zones are, I think, 2 or 3 hours apart. I think it's 2. So it's kind of hard to find a meeting place because I always have to do this or he's not on and I am or just something dumb like that. So, I mean, it's something you have to be patient with. The main reason why I want it is because in this series, I kind of want to just vid every single thing that happens from point A to point B. So nothing is unexplained or unattained, just like that. So, I mean, it's a little weird to try to have to get, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it it's like... I have more things on on what Bash Map used to have, and I didn't usually have to video video it, you know. So I'm thinking like maybe if I make the side account, then I could just bridge for lols, and then here I can document what's going on. So I just kind of want the pleasure of not having to vid every single frame that happens to me, you know. So that that'd probably be the only thing I'd use them for. But I mean, nothing much would really change. Um, but yeah, there's that. Uh, <laughs> I think I killed him in his tank. Oh my gosh, runecore.org. But yeah, no, this is probably arguably the best loot I've gotten from a kill so far, to be quite honest with you. Um, two rings, full rune. I thought it was a mage's book, but I guess not. And a whip, so I, I can't complain there. So after banking that, we're just going to reel through a couple of fights that either I tabbed or they tabbed or they died or I died. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of ironic how I named himself number one Brit. <laughs> Man, it's so what people think they're like number one. They just self-proclaim themselves. I don't even bother. I just like bring and winning. I guess I don't know. I usually end up outlasting people. I get very little loot, so I think this. I don't know what happens during this fight, to be quite honest. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, as you could tell, this is uh, around near the end of a fight. Uh, typically, when you're nearing the end, people get very desperate and kind of make their moves very short so they're scared to make a mage switch or something so the best advice I could tell you is to probably just camp you're better off because if you risk a mage switch they might just uh, pull a DDS spec last minute so there's another example of a guy tabbing out so a lot of tab outs almost every day for some reason people just love keeping their rune I don't know what it is to be honest I think it's just the burden of regearing but honestly if I get a final XP drop that would have killed him, it wouldn't be nice to just have the PKP because technically I did win. But, I mean, there's probably a reason to, as to why they don't really do that anymore. But, yeah, there's a death. That's kind of a rage quit death because I don't think I should have died. I had rune legs and dehyde top, but I got ramboed out. But, as you can see, when I got that Zerker ring, Sears ring kill, I, uh, how do I describe it? Like, I, I DDS them in full tank, so it's... You know, you kind of have to balance out the BS that can happen. So here's just the typical gear up, uh, but I end up having to buy some staves because I really don't want Skull Scepters. They're a nice cosmetic, but I think Ancient Staves offer some more mage bonus. I don't know exactly how much. I check on the Rune Wiki, but they kind of modified everything towards EOC, so you can't really look at that very much. So here's the funny part. He should have froze me because I have Rune Legs, but not really, so I was kind of lol. This one I do tab out, but just look at this guy's combos. 300, I pop on the tank, he hits like almost a 500, and then rambles me out. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> In tank too, oh my gosh. Oh, you can imagine how mad I was. I was I was so mad I broke my computer and just bought a new one that sounds exactly the same. So, there's that. Oh man, if only that could happen to me more often, but yeah, I tried to, okay. I messed up my switch there, he could have kept going, but I guess he didn't really want to. Who is this guy, John on Edge? Yeah, he put up a good fight. There is a Rambo through tank that I was looking for. Look at those combos, dude. 
Oh my gosh. See, I, I wish I could get PKP for that. That 103 drop should have killed. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfectly timed. I did get PKP, I guess. So yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of getting kills slowly again after purchasing the DDEF. But I highly recommend purchasing the Dragon Defender. Um, now here's a fight that I'm going to ask you. Who do you think is going to win? I'm completely out of food and there's this guy. Who's going to win, me or this guy? I'll let you guys decide. Take a look. Steady with the mage, steady with the mage. I'm still freezing back and forth. Now observe how low my HP is. Last minute tank. Pop it on, hit him, and he tabs out. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh man, I should have won. <laughs> I wish I just spec them out just for staying there and DM me at such low HP. Uh, the number of people who probably tap out if they were in that situation, I just risked it, and that was a good risk because it made for a pretty cool clip. <laughs> I, I even thought I was going to die. I was like a fight in my head. A good fight, man. GGDM. But yeah, I really don't know what happens here. I think it's just me showing an example of no one asking to fight. They just kind of rush me. Uh, but I don't know. Why Why did I vid this? Did someone already tab out? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, that was that was a pointless clip to vid. Anyways, um, here's another clip. Uh, this guy is just fighting me. I think I ramble him out little small Rambo could have been bigger I think it was if it was in the older days I probably would have killed him because the DDS specs were just insane you got no sympathy for missing a tank switch or something like that so this guy actually got no mercy but the trick is see he didn't pop on his tank whatsoever so I kind of capitalized on that you have to know when to switch to your tank because if you keep letting me hit you then nothing really changes look at this all that eating goes to waste because I'm just gonna bring it back down you have to know when to switch the tank. So lesson learned from that clip, hopefully. Um, it it requires a lot of switching. You can't just be stubborn about it and hope I don't hit anything when you're in full mage. But I think this guy tabs and no PKP. <laughs> but of course, always, always. <clears throat> okay, what's next? Got another fight here, double hider. Double hiders aren't really what I like to consider difficult fights. They're kind of like ignorant to the fact where they don't know that it's something bad that you shouldn't do because it just doesn't let me freeze you at all. So as you can see, I was trying my best to freeze this guy. No luck. There's my second splash on him. But this is when it just becomes way too late. He just he just does not stop comboing me. Look at this. Through tank. Again. No zeros. No zeros. Observe. And... Bam. And no zeros. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whip me in mage. Oh man. Rage quit all over that. Rage quit on that club. Rage quit, rage quit. But yeah, I ended up regearing and we get to another fight. So I think this guy, I don't know what the heck happens here. Uh, yeah, no loot. It's like the perfect tab out where he dies but resets his HP and ends up in edge. I get no PKP so no one wins out of that one. So that was kind of unfortunate, but I do end up tabbing out at that kind of time just to make sure I don't die when I tab. But respect to this guy, uh, what's his name? Andy293123. Uh, respect to him for DMing. He didn't risk an insane amount, but I just appreciate the thought because the D-boots aren't free, you know what I mean? So, I mean, and it really helps me when I'm just starting from scratch again, so... Thank you very much for the DM. I don't know if he was out, really. I'd have to look at the loot pile, to be honest. No, no, he wasn't out, actually. I just KO'd him. <laughs> so I guess good fight, but still, I mean, you know, good fight. Um, so I tab out and store that. I don't know if that's PKP 6 or 7. I think it's 6. Oh, I tried BH. Uh, quick verdict. Don't try it. It's really, really, really bad. I don't... I think it was supposed to be a hub to Brid. First of all, it's not even in the Wily Volcano, and there's good reason. I think it's because of the graphics settings. It's in the 666 graphics, so I can't really do anything about that. But, yeah, I can't picture Fist of Guthix and BH being in the same place. And this guy really didn't want to Brid at all. I don't know if he's a fan of the vids or not. I don't really know. But, yeah, he really just wanted to stay in that gear after getting a kill. And I was just like, whatever, dude. I'll just, whatever, just let's do it. I don't care. But I really don't recommend it because uh, no one goes to it. And if anyone, it's usually just really high donors that want BH rank. Which, 
probably won't count for anything for a while to come because Peking I, I honestly prefer because I could just rid more. I think if they had uh, regulations and were, were more enforced on this, they could probably just uh, rid a lot more often in, in uh, that bounty hunter. But until then, I don't think I'll be content with having to deal with people like this. Um, I have nothing against this person, but to be quite honest, I really just found it bothersome to have to do this. I was really hoping I didn't have to, you know, do all that jazz, but, uh, whatever. He's got everything ready, doesn't he? Yeah, like I said, he wouldn't venge, but he venges right when I switched to mage. And he says he didn't. Oh my god. Oh, man. Dude, you can't, you can't face, you can't argue with the vid proof. He's just acting all innocent and stuff, but, oh man. I end up running away, because he's way too good, so... Good fight, bro. I'm I suck. I can't do it against your chaotic kite and rapier and maul and donor cape and extreme donor status. No, I don't think he is donor status, but yep, yeah, I win. Also, I don't really like that they just reintroduced that whole crappy loot thing when there there is not even an EP system, but that's just me. So if I had to judge between East West or BH, definitely East West, because uh, it's just a regular hub for PKing. Uh, this is probably going to go into the dead content in the archives, but hopefully they modify it so it becomes more appealing. Now, as you can see, my next target is called Excellent. Um, at first when I looked at the name, I thought it was Excellent or egg, egg, Eggusalent or something like that, but it's actually Excellent, but like instead it's Eggsalent. Oh, ha, ha, it's funny because it says Excellent. But yeah, I end up uh, banking my stuff and... I spend maybe 10 minutes running around the map the same time just trying to look for excellent but I think he ended up logging out or something so I was the only one in BH at this moment in time just looking all over the place either that or excellent is like the most sophisticated hider that I've ever seen in my life because I don't know where the heck he went oh man I don't know but I ended up trying to kill this stranger who ended up running away so I just I, was, I just gave up I was like okay alright then so, I don't know why he was so desperate to keep all his things. I mean, like, I guess he really didn't want me to kill him. But after that, I was like, okay, I don't like PH. Take me back to the wildy. But that's it. That's all that happened in day three, guys. I looked around, no fights, so I just logged out and called it a night. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, day four will hopefully be out soon. And I'll see you guys next time.